Hello. It's nice to see you again. This is teacher Sheila, and for today's lesson, we will learn the different techniques in separating mixtures. Let's begin. Say if the mixture is a suspension or colloid. Hollow hollow. Is it suspension or colloid? Suspension. Paints. Is it suspension or colloid? Colloid. Peanut butter. Is it suspension or colloid? Suspension. Soap. Is it suspension or colloid? Colloid. Gelatin. Is it suspension or colloid? Colloid. In our previous lesson, we learned about suspension and colloid. Suspension contains larger particles that settle out when left undisturbed, while colloid is made up of small particles of ingredients. Picture this out. You are cooking spaghetti. When the pasta is done cooking, how do you remove it from the water? Hmm. You will probably remove the water by using a strainer. Let's see. Now, let's elaborate. Removing the water by using a strainer is one of the ways in separating mixtures. Here are the different techniques in separating mixtures. First is hand picking. It is also called physical separation or manual separation. It is a technique used in separating the solid components of a heterogeneous mixture. The components of the mixture should be big enough to be seen and picked up by hands. Like when you count and sort out your coins. Second is decantation. It is a technique used in separating a less dense substance from a denser one. When the components are separated, the less dense substance could be removed by scooping using a spoon. Or, it can be removed by slowly pouring out the less dense substance. You do it when you cook rice, and when skimming off scum and fat on the surface of the broth or soup that you are cooking. Third is sieving or sifting. It is a technique in which mixtures with big and fine components can be separated. It involves using a strainer or a big screen to separate the components of the mixtures. For an example, separating the mixture of sand and gravel. Fourth is filtration. It is a technique in which an insoluble solid is separated from a liquid. What is insoluble? When we say soluble, it dissolves with solvent. Examples are salt, sugar and coffee powder. On the other hand, insoluble solids do not dissolve with solvent. Examples are flour, sand and stone. Now, let's continue. It uses a filter like mesh cloth, or a filter paper to separate solid components from a liquid.
The clean water that passes through the filter paper is called filtrate, while the solid particles that are left behind are called the residue. Fifth is magnetism. It is a technique in which mixture of metals and non-metals could be separated using a magnet. Like the mixture of iron and salt. The magnet attracts the iron. Sixth is evaporation. It is a technique used in separating a soluble solid from liquid through a heating process. This method also produces salt by evaporating sea water under the sun. Seventh is distillation. It is a process of separating liquids from a solution. The separation technique is based on differences of the boiling point of the substances in the mixture. In distillation a mixture is heated. The substance with the lowest boiling point boils to vapor and condenses to liquid. Eighth is chromatography. It separates the components of mixtures based on the ability of each component to be drawn across the surface of another material. During the separation, the various components of materials spread at different speeds. This process is used to find out what substances are composed of by separating compounds into their various components. And its use affects everything from what we eat to how to fight disease. Let's remember. The components of mixtures can be separated in different ways. It can be through hand-picking, decantation, sieving or sifting, filtration, magnetism, evaporation, distillation, and chromatography. Now, let me see if you understood the lesson. Read each statement and choose the letter of the correct answer. 1. Iron filings have magnetic property. How can we separate the mixture of iron filings and sulfur? A. By using magnet. B. By picking the iron fillings. C. By scooping the sulfur. D. By using a filter paper. 2. Which of the following mixtures can be separated by sieving? A. Muddy water. B. Oil and water. C. Gravel and sand. D. Salt water. 3. How can you separate insoluble materials like sand and flour from the water? A. Hand picking. B. Scooping. C. Heating. D. Filtering. 4. To obtain pure or distilled water, which is safe to drink, Water from sources should undergo boiling and condensing method. What do you call this process? A. Chromatography B. Distillation C. Decantation D. Filtration 5. Grease also floats on water. How are we able to remove grease from water? A. By scooping them B. By filtering them C by heating them d by sieving them
Here are the answers. Number 1 is A. Number 2 is C. Number 3 is D. Number 4 is B. And number 5 is A. Congratulations! You can now describe techniques in separating mixtures. See you in our next lesson. Thank you for watching. Do not forget to click the like button. Share this video to your friends. And subscribe to my channel.